with uh, Alexandra Woodrow Sharon. She is the CEO of Empress Royalties, a company that uh, Hard Rock Analyst follows. Uh, I wanted to just get to do an update with with Alex because she has now closed a couple of transactions. They did they did a large financing just recently. Um, not surprising that financing was used to close a couple of transactions that they've been talking about. I just wanted to kind of get an update in terms of the sort of the bigger picture growth story. You know, what the, what what does the ramp look like here over the next over the next let's say twelve months? Um, I know I know you have a huge amount of stuff in the pipeline, and that pipeline is something I want to talk about as well because I think part of what discriminates Empress from a lot of other royalty companies is. By and large, you're creating rather than buying royalties, uh, and you've made it plain from day one that, that you want to focus sort of production near production, which which I think personally is the right place to be. That's why I own the stock. But maybe give us a little bit of insight of how you're able to do that. <clears throat> I mean, it's one thing to just proclaim like, yes, I'm going to go find near-term royalties in construction mines. Doing that in practice, I'm I'm sure is a little bit tougher. And, and I think the team that you built and that, that you work with is a big part of the reason why you can take that approach. Uh, so can you just give us your sort of one minute intro on Empress, but then maybe talk about, you know, how Empress does things a little bit differently. Um, you know, Empress Royalty is a new precious metals royalty and streaming creation company. We currently have 16 investments in our portfolio. Um, three of those are near term cash producers. Um, we are very much focused on the creation of royalty and streams, which means we're providing capital to either get mines into production or expand on um, projects that are already in production. And we're really able to do this through our partnerships. We have Endeavor Financial, their global mining finance investment banking firm. So that gives us access to deal flow and opportunities to invest in African projects as well as South American projects where they've had a lot of experience. We have Terra Capital in Australia. Um, so that gives us access to Australian deals, Australian listed companies with projects internationally, as well as Jeremy's been an active investor in the Canadian natural resource sector. So it gives us a fantastic capital markets network. And then we've got the relationship, the strategic alliance with Ascendo Banco, which gives us access to opportunities in Mexico, um, like Telson and uh, Candelaria, as well as you know a, a great network within South America. So we're not going out trying to acquire third-party royalties. Um, we're not in a royalty trading business. We're very much working with management groups that we're known to us in our network and providing them a financing solution, again, to get mines into production or expand on, on what they have. So it's a little bit more work um, in terms of the creation side, but that's where our skill set is. We're investment bankers, mining finance experts. So we're able to use our knowledge and our uh, experience and in a lot of cases in larger deals on the smaller side of the, the royalty and streaming creation business model. Um, so it's a slightly different approach. Um, it's definitely a lot of fun <laughs> as well as we're starting to be able to deliver on the investment opportunities that we've, we've been talking about. Can you, you want to give us just an overview? You've got three, as you, as you said, you've got three near-term production. Can you, yeah. can you just give us a thumbnail on those? Yeah, so we did the Pinos project, which is owned by Candelaria Mining. And that's a 1% royalty over the entire project um, in Zacatecas, Mexico. We did that in November. Um, this one should be in production um, Q1, Q2 next year. Um, and Candelaria has announced they're doing a $25 million financing at the moment. So we'll update shareholders as that, as that one progresses. Um, we uh, we uh, executed, funded, and closed on the Manica uh, two and a quarter percent royalty. This is owned by MMP in Mozambique, um, and this project um, is under construction right now. Um, we it was a $10 million to get it finished. Uh, we provided $2 million and the company itself, the management team provided the other eight. Um, this one should be in production in Q3 this year, bringing revenue hopefully to Empress the end of this year. And we also uh, announced that we have executed on the Silver Stream on Talawetto, which is owned by Telsa Mining, uh, we have, and that's, we've executed on that. And we're just trying to finish up the final CPs to do the first tranche of that one. Um, in this case, it's a great example of our partnerships coming together. Ascendo Banco is providing a $12 million debt piece. We're providing a $5 million silver stream. And then there's the equity portion, which Endeavor and uh, Ascendo both participated in and put together. So it's a full $25 million financing solution 
to finally get the 60% built project at the moment into production, hopefully later this year, early next year. Uh, very good story. Very good pricing. Like I said, I mean, I, I initiated, I owned it already, but I initiated coverage because I could see there was going to be a price window there. And I don't think the price window is open much longer. And you know, the company's delivered on everything they said, and there's clearly more coming. So this this is a story you got to be paying attention to. And, and your window to do your due diligence and get your best deal as a buyer is, I think, is right now. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't take too long without doing due diligence thing. I think it's an I think it's an excellent opportunity right now.